like steam locomotives had been mostly gone ever since the 1950s as the Benmarcan Railroad had dieselized and you think there's no other there's no steam engines there but you're wrong there's actually two in preservation and that's what I'm telling you about this is the history of Bear Market 1223 and 1225. These two were built by the Lima Locomotive Works in 1941 during the Second World War for the Bear Market Railway as part of the N1 class Type 204 Berkshires, hauling freight trains across the PM system. When the two engines were retired by the Bear Market in the 1950s when digitalization was started, 1223 was displayed at Grand Haven, Michigan. And today, the engine is still sitting outside the display. Now the engine you wanted to hear. In 1951, avoiding the scrapyard, the engine 1235 was acquired by the Michigan State University and put aside the display in 1957. Until 1969, a group of students took interest in 1225. In 1961, the Michigan State University Rural Club was formed and began to work to sort 1225 to operational status. In November 30th, 1985, the engine was restored and moved again under its own power for the first time. And the first excursion occurred in 1988 on the 17 mile trip between Oswego and St. Charles, Michigan. In 1991 of August, the 1225 ran alongside the 765 Royal and 31 car passenger train during the NRHS annual convention in Huntington, West Virginia. In 2004, the Toy 24 was featured in the most popular movie ever, The Polar Express, playing as Polar Express Toy 25. And one thing I remember from this movie is the ice scene where the engine was sliding on the ice, making its way back onto the tracks. After the movie, Toy 25 continued to put excursions until 2022. The engine has been taken out of service for, for upgrades. And as of October 2022, the engine was back in operational condition, ready for the 2023 North Pole Express excursion. I'm really glad the PM have preserved these two because they scrapped many of the engines such as the Mercados, and it's not really many of these engines preserved, which I call these two Try the Pair Marquette. This episode was requested by Berkshire. But I couldn't leave Toy 25 alone as it was one of two surviving engines, so that's the reason I decided to add 1223 into this episode.